topic today is hologram tours yay or nay yes so what is the impetus for this conversation now, we've been hearing about hologram tours lately yeah, right yeah. so there's been like uh uh i, I think uh, frank zappa mm-hmm. there's a hologram tour with him I, I think there's one with roy orison yeah i saw that um, one a hologram see. tour there's been talk of one for whitney, whitney houston. houston um also for yeah. natalie cole uh, we know about ones, uh, well, we know about not necessarily tours, but performances where they feature Tupac, Tupac yeah. Michael Jackson, Whitney yeah. Houston, ODB, Old Dirty Bastard from yeah. uh, Wu-Tang, and Eazy-E. Right. So even yeah. if it was just one-off performances, but yeah. now they're actually selling stadiums out. They are. And I think that um, on one of those award shows that Madonna was on, mm-hmm. that she used like holograms of herself. Yes, and with MIA so, or something like that. Right, I remember yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, so she did that too. So so, so uh, I, I think the impetus for this whole thing is that we have a lot of people probably within our age group, mm-hmm. right? Who really just don't listen to new music anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and that pretty much what they do is they listen to classic rock, mm-hmm. they listen to uh, music from the past, and Michael so Jackson, Prince. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so there's more of that longing mm-hmm. to see these stars, and so from what I understand, that the way that these shows run is it like it's a it is a combination of the hologram mm-hmm. along with live performances. So okay. they, they bring the bands out and all the rest of that type of stuff, okay. and they do this combination type of performance. Oh, wow. But but yeah, I you know it's it's the type of thing to me. I don't know. It's kind of creepy. It is, and, and, I, and it, it was yeah. funny because Prince was so against it, and didn't they use him? For, well, I think Justin Timberlake like, did didn't use him or something like that, or, or he, he used his the, image. But right. I don't think he used a hologram. hologram. Okay. Right, yeah. Like that was a lot different. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. So, he didn't so, use a hologram, but he used the video. I right, think it was something, pretty, something like that. Yeah. Which, of course, Prince probably would have been completely against. Right. And if we're wrong about that, please let us know. Yeah. Like that. You know, correct us in your comments or yeah. whatever else if there's something that you actually know. No, about that. specifically. Yeah. But this is just based on what, you know, in passing, what we've been reading and seeing. Yeah. But I, I think for me, it's, it's, um, it, it's more of a personal issue. Yeah. It's not, you know, I mean, it's it's a thing where uh, I think for people that's in my age group, mm-hmm. there's almost a perception that we don't want new music anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I think I was listening to something on volume. I, I forget the name of the, um, the woman who had written an article. And, um, and basically what she was saying is that, hey, don't give me no more than three New, new songs. songs per show. And yeah, per show. Aww. You know, uh, I think it was she went to go see Mariah Carey. Okay. And Mariah Carey just did way too many songs from the uh. new album for her liking. Um, and and I guess for me, I you know that, that's a tough one for me. It's like um, if if you're somebody who's into an artist, like for instance, Bruce Springsteen has got a new record coming out, and I've heard a couple of different tracks from it, and I would want to hear those tracks. Mm-hmm, perform live. Right. Okay. If I went to go see him. Right. Because he definitely see could fill up a whole concert right. with old material, right. but that is not, you know, that yeah, you I, want to be exposed to and I, and I understand that, that that a lot of people who are going to see Bruce don't care anything about it. And, okay. that, and so so I think that's the thing is I think I'm in the minority. Okay. For people who are within my age group. Mm-hmm. I think within my age group, most people are not paying attention to any new Bruce mm-hmm. Springsteen that's coming out. And they want to hear Born in the USA, so the fact Born that, to Run. They want to hear that stuff. So the fact that you could do the hologram definitely are shows that have already passed. And it's already songs and that well, are... Well, well, those artists are capped. 
Right. You know what I mean? Right. And those, those <laughs> artists are perfect. It's sort right. of like when an artist like uh, John Lennon, that's the problem people have with Paul McCartney. Yeah, that he's Is still alive and he's still, still doing still stuff. New music. Right. You know, people want to put you in a bottle yeah. and just kind of say, okay, you know, we want you to do Beatles stuff. We want you to do some wing stuff. Don't right. be carried away with it. Right. But, you know, mm, don't go too far with that Paul McCartney stuff, like post 80s. Oh, right. Kind of stuff. And he's we don't got want a hear. lot, right? Yeah, he does. I mean, you know, so, but he's got a lot of albums that people don't want to hear. Oh. Um, you know, and, and so what happens is for a lot of old artists, maybe you do what Sting does, and that is you go back and keep revisiting. <laughs> Your old stuff. So he's got another new album out oh with goodness. Steve Reviews and then his old song. You know, because that's what people are listening to classic yeah. rock stations yeah. day in and day out. Yeah. And they listen to classic R and B stations day yeah. in and day out. Right. They don't yeah. so they don't hear new music and mm. there is no need to hear it and so it gives rise to these crazy holiday holiday tours. Tours. The only thing I don't like, even if you like the old songs, there's no opportunity for real interaction and if I want to see a concert well I, they do have the band there and I think for some people that's the best thing mm. it's sort of like if I got to choose between going to go see Little Nas X or going to go <laughs> see a hologram I'm going to see the hologram I, I think that that's the way people mm. feel about it oh, I, yeah, yeah. you know I mean because okay. especially now it's like um, R&B music is really starting to get watered down to being absolutely nothing anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, in the 90s, I, I think, you know, people within our age group at least had baby face. Mm-hmm. So there was mm-hmm. the whole the face and, and what they were doing. Mm-hmm. And, and, and people doing that type. Right. Of. Those type of, you know, groups like SWV, yeah. Brownstone. Yeah. Uh, they and, were at out least doing, Joe and yeah, people like that. Yeah, doing regular kind of our Brian McKnight had yeah. some hits back, and you know, during that period of time. Yeah. You know, and, and, and you don't kind of see that from these artists nowadays. Mm-hmm. It's just not out there, not on a major scale. Mm-hmm. So I think it's really kind of pushing people back to mm-hmm. kind of old school stuff. Right. So I think what R&B, at least the old school, may kind of um, matriculate into the 90s. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But with classic rock, it probably goes maybe up to grunge era. Yeah. So, and that's know, kind so. of, it, 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 excuse me for saying, but 89X seemed like they kind of got stopped there. Yeah. It, it, you know, they play the old stuff, and then now they play rap and roll is what I call it. Right. right. It's basically rap with rock behind it. Right. So. And, 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 and so, with, and that's why that's why people like Greta Van Fleet so much. Yeah. It, it gave yeah. them Led Zeppelin. It gives them a real song. See, right. Yeah. A new song song, quote unquote, right? without having to go see a hologram tour. Right, you know, so, I mean, but but that's why I think that they are popular. The hologram tours, yeah. yeah. I think the, the po- hologram tours are popular and they're going to be popular because of... Almost that, like Pet you know. Cemetery, though, if it's somebody that's dead. Yes, it's, it's, I, I, it's I, I can't see myself seeing it. I mean, I, I think somebody would have to give me a free ticket or something, but I mean, I just, yeah. I just can't see myself going out. out right, because it just seemed like I would prefer pulling up a YouTube video. If I'm going to watch Prince, yeah. I'd rather pull up an old concert footage that I haven't seen right. and just watch that. And that yeah. seemed like that would give me more of a flavor. Yeah, for what he did live. Yeah. And, and again, I, you know, I, no. But no. what do you guys think? Yeah. I mean, that's this is us talking, but yeah. you may have a completely different perspective. Maybe you can change our mind. Give right. us yeah. something that yeah. helps us feel a different way about it. Change our perspective. What are we doing? What's coming up next? And the next thing is Gear Fest. So in about two to three weeks, yep. we'll be having Gear Fest. So that's right around the corner. Yep. And um, if you want to jam, if you want to meet us when we're there, if you want to hang out a little bit, yeah. drop your, um, check out the link below, drop your name and email, and we'll make sure that we let you know when we get there and, and so we can hang out. Yeah, we're all signed up and everything. So, also, yeah. uh, upcoming is... In what, London? London, Okay, yeah. and that's coming in August. <laughs> it's coming in August. If yeah. you want to see us there, let us know. We have a lot of English friends, so we're going to have to hit up a bunch of folks. Yeah, we are. And um, let them know that we're coming so that we can all hang out. Yeah. And I think that's about it. Oh, yeah. If you're interested in a variety of genres of music, um, hit up our Facebook group, Funky Happy People, and that's for people who listen. We listen to everything from rap to rock to whatever, right. like Indian music. We just put up a link the other day. Yeah. It can be classic soul. We do it all for the Funky Happy People Facebook group. If you like a variety of genres, make sure you click the link and join so that you can hear from us. Also, if you want to be inspired uh, with tools, techniques, mindset shifts, growth hacks, join the Be The Next DIY Rockstar Facebook group. 
there's a link below for that. Other than that, if you dig the vibe, make sure you subscribe. We're wishing you love, peace, and chicken grease. Yay, bye-bye. Yeah.